Good morning, good afternoon, um, wherever you are. Um, how's everyone doing? I'm here again, bringing you another video. Uh, how to transform your financial freedom forever. And what do I mean by forever? I mean, once we get to where we need to get to, we're not working anymore. Once we um, get to that destination, it's a forever plan. It's not just a one-time thing, it's making forever. So that's why I, I preach this and I, I want everyone to reach this financial freedom goal and be free from working a nine to five, living check by check and uh, you know, stuck in a loophole. So here's some of the tips that I have for you today. One's uh, creating a budget and sticking to it. Same thing as if you're trying to lose weight and uh, your doctor gives you some guidelines of things you can eat and things you can't eat and you really want to stick to what, what you can eat and you'll probably get successful at losing weight but if you don't then there's a chance that you might gain weight. Same with your budget. You want to stick to that budget, follow that budget, live by that budget and it's called and um, be that budget. That budget is, uh, is you, and you're gonna use that budget to um, effectively, you know, build your financial freedom step by step. Because you need to know your expenses and income. That's like a big word. Expenses, what's going out, income, what's coming in. And you really need to know um, that if you have uh, more expenses than income you're going to always be broke so your goal is to have more income coming in than expenses and that's where the budget comes in that keeps you on track so this way you don't falter and uh you know go somewhere else this way you stick to your plan you follow it also um you gotta pay off all your your debt you know especially um so i always say Pay off the smaller debt, you know, pay all the smaller debts and then pay the big off the bigger debts. But it depends on your interest rate. So say you have something small, but you only pay 2% interest on it, but then you have a, a, you know, like a car loan, credit card loan, that's like 10, 12%. I would attack the bigger, you know, the, the bigger loans than the smaller, you know, smaller debt. I would, you know, tackle the bigger stuff because that's what's going to hold you back. You're giving out all, you know, all your hard earned money the longer that um, debt stays out. Yeah. So the first thing is to tackle it and work as hard as you can to get rid of it because once you pay off that one big debt, then it's going to start getting easier. That means you have more, more income and um, less expenses. And this way, you're going to start um, going after the other smaller ones until you get them all paid off. So, you know, when you're rich, obviously, it's good to be in debt because, you know, this is like, you know, you don't want to pay too much taxes. But when you're starting out, you want as little debt as possible because that debt will hold you back all the time. Every week, every month, you're going to have to worry about the debt. So it's, it's best to get rid of it as soon as you can. Also, uh, another thing is you gotta build an emergency fund. Meaning, um, you're making a thousand dollars a month. You should be holding back. Um, I would say at least ten to twenty percent. Ten percent would be a hundred. Twenty percent would be two hundred or a thousand. Because you know, say it just depends what you're you're making every month. But wherever you do, you would need to allocate a certain percentage for emergencies. You know, because life is full of emergencies. It's, it's not like, uh, you know, you can go through life without any problems. And you know, things happen when you least expect them. And that's why, you know, we, even with me, you know, sometimes car breaks down or having the same uh, problems, uh, electrical issues, washer dryer's not working, dishwasher has issues, you know, like, you just don't know when it's coming, so you just gotta be prepared. And um, so, when prepared for things in life, you know, do well. If you're not prepared, then 
and you're not gonna be ready for when life punches you in the mouth. That goes for everyone. Also, um, I would say you need to have a 401k or some type of retirement savings fund. Besides that emergency fund, you need to be putting money for the long term, for 30 years, 40 years, uh, 50 years from now, depending how young and old you are. You need to keep putting money back because you're not, you, you obviously you don't, you don't know if you're gonna live that long, but you need a backup plan just in case, you, you know, say when you're older, your job, you know, you get cut off from your job or, you know, you, you don't know what the future holds. For me, I'm at least putting 5% of my income away for um, retirement. Because I do plan on retiring and hopefully you plan on retiring sooner than me. Um, if, if you get a head start, if you're start, if you're like a young person and you're, you're listening to this channel, hopefully you got the head start and you take it and run. Um, I'm starting a little late, but it's not as late, but I'm starting a little late for me. In the 30s starting to think about this, but you know, it's never too late for anything. It's just how you go about it and how you attack it. And um, I don't care if you're 50, you have to have a plan. 40, 30, you have to have a plan, you know. And there's always a plan for a different age group, a different age, a different strategy. So hopefully you can figure that out. And you know, this way, you know, you can start building that retirement. Because besides the emergency fund, you need a retirement fund. Because the retirement fund is like your backup emergency fund for uh, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Also, um, you gotta learn about investing. You know, there is, uh, you know, owning your own business. It doesn't have to be uh, brick and mortar. It can be online or even um, stock market, like uh, ETFs. You know, there's so many different stock options that you can get started with as little as a dollar. And you can put like maybe, you know, $25 a week or depends on your comfort level. Also, there's real estate. Real estate is big because ever since you were born, you lived in a house. Like, you, you know, or an apartment. But you, there's, you always have to live somewhere. And um, that's like the, one of the biggest things um, that I'm getting back into is real estate. I, I started and then got out of it because it was too much. But now I realized this is, you know, where, you know, a good amount of money is, you know, so if you own a lot of properties, you could be making as much as an NBA, NFL player, if you do it right and you have a, enough going on. So if I don't, you know, if I can make that much and I'm not playing, you know, pro sports, that's an amazing thing. So hopefully you can um, figure that out. Also, you have to increase your side hustle. This means you have to do more than just your job. Of course, you have your regular job, but you need more income. And obviously, your job's not bringing in a whole lot of income. So you're gonna have to, you know, maybe sell stuff on eBay or Amazon, or, you know, walk a dog. There's many different things you can do. Babysit, you know, increase the money, because you, you're gonna need income. In the beginning, you need more money. Later, it's gonna be more ideas, more thinking, but you do, you do need money to get started with most things, and that's where C is gonna be a thing that holds you back. So increasing, you know, the things that you can do on the side to make more money. Also, you gotta avoid impulse purchases, which this can be during holidays, um, you know, buying something you want but don't need. It's not always, you're not always out there just to, you know, get everything you want. You want to get everything you want when you reach your goal. It's like you have to win the Super Bowl before you can start doing the things you want to do. You can't just start, you know, um, taking time off, relaxing, and etc. This is when you have to go hard. Like there's like five of you out there. You have to go very hard and you know for you to make this happen you just can't just go spending on anything you see 
it's tough, but you know the results will equal something much better than that. You know, pair of Gucci you got you know a couple of years ago, or or Nike or Jordans that you're buying. Your destination will be better than whatever material thing you can buy. Also, um, please track your spending. Because, uh, you know, obviously I want you to track your, you know, your expenses. But also you guys see, you know, what you're spending your money on. Like, is it, you know, if it's quality stuff, stuff that you need, then yeah, it's great. But if it's something you don't need and things that are just sitting there after one month, after you buy them, why are you buying them? You're just wasting time. So you know you need to figure that out. And what's it called? Once you figure that out, it's it's, it's totally gonna change your, your whole life. And the last thing I want to talk about is setting financial goals. You really have to, you know, see where you want to be and how you get there. You do have to figure it out, but you have to see it, see it in your mind. You have to feel it and know that you can get there. Because you can get there and you will. You have to see it first. You know, if you want that building, you have to see yourself in it before you can actually get it. Same thing if you want anything in life. You actually have to see yourself, picture yourself being in there before it actually happens. And that's, that's positive thinking. And, you know, to do any forward thinking, the financial freedom forever. You have to be a, a, a fast thinker, smart thinker, and a future thinker. Anyway, um, I do thank you for coming to the channel today. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully this has helped some people. Um, I'm here for everyone, but I, I'm, I'm definitely here for more new if you're a newer person, I, I just want to help you get up because I know it was, it was tough when I was starting out and I didn't really have any much help. And I know for the newbies starting out, it's uh, it's going to be a tough road, but you can you can do it. And newbies are, you know, even if you're making, you know, six figures a year, you still can be a newbie. Because, you know, to get to where we're getting at, you know, it's going to be a... a along the hike up the mountain. Anyway, uh, thank you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.